think that there are times where I feel like I'm on a roller coaster in terms of emotion. <laughs> What's up? I'm back with a new video and it's been such a long week. I just came back from KCON. Um, I literally got back at like 6.30 a.m. this morning. I feel like drained. It's been a long weekend, but it was really so much fun meeting all of you guys. All of you guys were so sweet. I ran into some of you guys and we talked about like what I'm doing now on YouTube and stuff like that and how I'm doing YouTube like more so full time. I kind of wanted to just be real with you guys in this video. This is going to be more of like a get ready with me, talk to you guys and let you guys know what's up and what's going on in my life and just give you guys like an update because I want to just come back every once in a while and just lay everything down, let you guys know how I'm doing. And also I want you guys to tell me what you want to see from me in the future um, for my YouTube channel, like what videos you want to see me do because I want to keep this going, I want to keep this rolling. Um, also, I've started a Patreon. I know that it works if I give you guys more exclusive content, be able to sustain myself and do YouTube full time and make more videos for you guys, make more quality content, stuff like that. Um, so if you guys want to support me with that, you totally can. I'm gonna put my Patreon down below. So yeah, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start off with my primer. I've used this before. Um, you guys know this, this is a wonder pour. Um, if you guys are at my panel, you know that I talked about it very briefly. Here behind my ears. Um, but yeah, KCOM is fun. Um, in terms of what I've been doing, I've been trying to upload almost every single day. Um, obviously, when it comes to things like cons and stuff like that, it's really difficult for me to do that. Um, so this weekend was not really a productive weekend for me to be able to upload for you guys. Uh, but it was cool to be able to meet everyone and see everyone and just kind of take a break from uploading for a little bit. I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup primer on my face right now. I'm not so sure how I feel about this. I feel like it doesn't really do much, but I could be wrong. I just, I'm not really a huge fan, but also I did pay like $36 for this. So I don't want to like, you know, waste the product or anything. It kind of hurts to say that I paid that much for it though, to be honest. Um, um, but I'm gonna use up the blur stick before I go ahead and I buy a new primer just because like I want to save my money and I'm not saying that the blur stick doesn't really do much I'm just saying I feel like I see more of a difference with this on my face and my face just feels a lot softer with this product on it um, But I'm just gonna use it's like an anti um, Anti-aging cream, I guess so I just love moisturizing my skin before I put on like any foundation or anything, or like even set my face with powder before putting on my foundation. It's something that I've been using, like um, I've watched Jackie Ina's videos and Miles has told me about this um, step where um, Jackie like just goes ahead and she puts just like a loose powder on her face before putting on the foundation to set the primer that she puts on, like the moisturizer and stuff like that. And I heard that really helps a lot. Um, but this is called the Flawless Complexion Intensive Anti-Aging Cream. So we're gonna use that, ooh, ooh, this is very, a little bit of this, it smells, mmm, it smells good. It has like a nice, like subtle, subtle smell too. Like this is gonna give me like a youthful glow or something. Um, but back to the YouTube stuff, you guys. Um, I like the whole process. I think that there are times where I feel like I'm on a roller coaster in terms of emotions and like what I wanna do, what I wanna edit. And I feel like whenever I upload like a really good video or something, I'm really excited and then like the next like 20 hours of the day, I'm feeling stressed because I'm like, okay, what video do I do next? Like, or I'm worried if my next video is gonna suck or something, how many people are going to um, react to it and like how well is it gonna do? So I'm always having these thoughts in my head and I know it's not like the healthiest um, path for me to go on, but it's like, I wanna do well. I wanna keep doing this stuff for fun. and I wanna have this as my full-time job for the long term. Cause right now I'm just kind of testing things out and seeing how it's going. Cause I'm not sure how things are gonna go. I'm not, like nothing is guaranteed, but I'm trying this out because I wanted to see if I could do this, if I can be successful. And um, I do love making videos. I do love editing my videos. I think it's really important. But um, it was really cool this year to be able to meet like a bunch of people this year. Cause I've never been a special guest before at like a convention. So this was the first time it was kind of nerve wracking doing a panel honestly, cause I'm not really used to talking in front of that many people. 
um, at once. So I was kind of nervous. I'm not sure if, if you guys that were there at the panel, I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but I was like almost peeing in my pants because I was super nervous to um, speak in front of everyone because I'm not used to that. But nevertheless, it was fun and I liked it and I would definitely want to go again next year and do the same. You no, know, it's like with this whole YouTube thing, I'm kind of just going with the flow and I'm just doing what I love to do and putting out content that I really am excited about. So I'm gonna go in with my not so favorite foundation because I'm not really going anywhere today. I'm just gonna use my least favorite, which is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation right now. But it does look the most natural um, on your skin. So it kind of just looks like extra, extra skin. With the Beauty Blender and just use that on my face right now. You guys definitely will be seeing more sponsored posts and stuff like that so that I can keep this up. I'm not sure like what people think about that, but for me, I kind of see it as a way to give you guys more content and to um, just to just to be able to do more. Like um, if you guys saw the 90s lookbook video, um, the clothes were sponsored by Romley in that video. And so without them, I wouldn't have been able to um, have those outfits together. So stuff like that, I really do appreciate because when I'm in a struggle or when I can't really afford certain things, I have those things to be able to put in a video to make a really good um, piece for you guys. And I, I really do work hard on my lookbooks and other videos as well, but my lookbooks I really do take pride in. So for me to be able to um, <clears throat> give you guys those videos and not have to worry about what I'm investing in them to give you guys more content is really a blessing because without that, there just wouldn't be as many. And um, luckily I've been working with Ron Lee a lot more lately so I can give you guys more stuff in the future. I want to do like, um, I don't know, I don't know what video to do next, but I kind of want to go like around like the different eras um, in fashion and just kind of do more lookbooks like that. I think a couple of you guys have asked me like how I upload every day, like how do I make that happen? And basically what I can say is that this is what I'm doing all day. Like that's literally all that I'm doing. I'm just literally making videos, uploading videos, um, not getting much sleep. But it's also something that I like doing. Like I, it, I do take pride in what I'm doing and I do feel amazing every time I do upload a video because to me that's really fun. And um, I love talking to you guys and like seeing your reactions and stuff and like um, really getting to connect with you guys online here. And I do read all the comments and stuff like that. Um, if I don't comment back, it's just because like I haven't gotten to it yet. Sometimes I answer a comment like a month later or something. Cause I go back and like reply to all the comments and stuff like that. Like I want to do a Q&A, but I feel like I haven't gotten enough questions to be able to do one. Um, and I don't know if my Twitter is that pop in so that I can do one, but I know that Instagram is. So maybe I can figure out a way um, to make like a post so that you guys can ask me questions for a video. Um, also, I've noticed that YouTube has been like flagging stuff. I'm not sure if like flagging is the correct word, but they've been limiting ads to certain things on people's videos. And this is not new news or anything. It's definitely old news, but I feel like they've just started putting this into, um, into action with even the more smaller YouTubers. Like I know like you guys have just seen my vintage shorts video. That video had limited ads because it was put under review. And um, they say like after the first thousand views that you make for the video that you have limited ads until it, like it hits that thousand for the first seven days then they can go ahead and like review it for you if not then it's you're out of luck like that's it it's annoying because i worked so hard on that video i remember i was working super hard on the video before kcon um and um, i wanted to have it out before then so that i could like give you guys some content at least before i had to like take a little bit of a hiatus during the weekend um, since I would be a KCON, but that wasn't the case. Like they kind of just like screwed me over a little bit, even though I worked hard on the video. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a struggle because you know, you're not, I'm not getting as much money as I was from before, like as far as having like a stable job or anything, but I am starting to learn certain things that other creators are going through in my shoes um, and how they deal with it. And I've been getting advice from them because I do have a lot of friends that are in the industry as well, which is pretty cool because I can, Go to them for advice if I have any questions and they're always there to help me out and I'm really grateful for those friends that are able to do that. In my head like oh I really haven't done that much stuff but if you think about it like I was able to move here, I was able to find like 
a job. Of course, it was like a mediocre job, in my opinion, because I wasn't getting paid enough and I was like working my butt off like a slave. But um, like working in retail, that was, it was tough. But I was able to do that and I was able to get a better job after that. And then now I've chosen to just do more of my own thing and make money that way. And you know, it's, it's somewhat working out. And um, I'm still at a stressful point in my life right now where it's like, will it work out for the long run? Will it work out next month? Honestly, it's, it's never a sure thing, but um, I just hope that I will have everyone's attention like to be able to like, succeed and to continue to do stuff like this and um maybe even next year i can tell my parents like okay i don't have to like have you guys worry anymore about what i'm doing here and like um if i keep working hard if i keep pushing it and like you know staying home and like working on stuff that i won't have to worry about stuff in the future and that's what i kind of want to do if i want something i need to work for it um just like how i want to go back to korea and japan you know like if if I want to go like in 2018, there is a chance for me to make that happen. I'm trying to definitely speak that into existence because I definitely want to go this year with my friends again. And I want to have an amazing time. I, I actually want to go this time and like kind of go for like work even. Some type of work that involves like creative work or something like that this year. I don't know. I mean, next year. I'm not sure, but like. I know some people would think if they like looked at my bank account that I wouldn't be able to go or like what makes you think that you can afford Korea right now because you definitely cannot. Um, I don't want to have those thoughts because I want to be able to have it where like I am going to be able to make that money. I am, I am going to be able to go um, regardless because I'm going to make it happen. And from what I know and living in LA that I know that things could change and they can turn around in any second. Um, regardless if it's good or if it's bad. Um, I feel like if you guys really want to save money, honestly, like staying home and like working on your craft is definitely a good option. Um, if I want to go out for inspiration, I usually go out with Kevin, honestly, to just to go out and get some fresh air is always a good thing to do. Honestly, you don't have to buy anything or go shopping or anything like that. I know most people think that you have to go out um, to get stuff for videos and like equipment or like makeup. Um, but I feel like you don't really have to do all that. Um, like I haven't been doing many makeup videos because I still have the same products that I've been using and I really don't want to. Um, maybe for Halloween for sure I'll get some more stuff, but I'm trying to lay low right now, not spend as much money. But yeah, um, the way I'm seeing it, I don't know how long that YouTube is actually going to last. I feel like from how they're doing things right now, things are kind of going downhill, which is why to be relevant right now, it's like, it's kind of important for everyone. It's like a thing where like everyone's fighting for relevancy on YouTube and um, as fast as possible because um, it will forever be saturated from this point on, um, so. Um, oh yeah, so I've been also getting like comments about people like dragging me and my makeup and stuff like that and how I do it and how I shouldn't do it so heavy sometimes. I know like sometimes I do it heavier for like videos and stuff like that. Um, my other friends do, you know what I mean? Um, for videos it might be heavier. I think I actually do more for like videos and pictures and stuff like that. So it looks more dramatic. Um, I kind of want to expand more like in my eyeshadow color range. Like I kind of want to do like more yellows and like oranges and like even blues and greens, just different colors. Cause I, I look at more of the result. So when people are seeing my process as far as like me like packing on the makeup or whatever, to me, I'm just like, oh, I don't really care as long as it looks good in the end, but I'm fine. But I can see what people are saying sometimes. That's fine, I'm not gonna argue with that. It's just, this is just what I do. I hate how my lips look whenever, like right before I put on my my lip color. Yeah, if you guys did go to KCON and uh, we talked and stuff, let me know down in the comment section. Even though like I wasn't too into the concert as much, like I was only into a couple of people, I still liked the experience. I think it was really, really like fun still. Very 90s actually. I've been into 90s clothes lately, if you guys could not tell. 
after the 90s lookbook, I've just been really obsessed with like 90s inspired things and items and makeup styles. Also, you guys looked amazing at KCON. I think I wore like mostly like reds and blacks during the whole con. And also like I wore my, um, my gray hoodie, but everyone was like super colorful and super cute. And everyone's hairstyles were so cute too. Like, oh my God. Whew. This is the Urban Decay D slicking spray. And then I'm done for this look. So I really hope I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna probably continue this conversation more with you guys in the future. I've been talking for like 37 minutes. So um, let me know if you like the conversation, if you want me to continue it more down below. And maybe I'll even do like a live stream or something. I also wanna do more simple videos like this too. Also, again, the Patreon is down below. Exclusive like live streams for you guys, or maybe even like exclusive lookbook videos. Or like specifically if you want to see something, then let me know and I'll go ahead and make a video for only Patreon users. So also let me know about that and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!